Find a comfortable sh shape to sit in. Sitting up tall, feel free to sit against a wall or a pillow. Lengthen through the spine. Allow your sit bones to ground down. Lift the shoulders up and then roll them down your back. Place your hands on your lap. Chin is slightly tucked so you have a long airway. Take a few breaths here as you settle into this shape. And begin to find your breath. Breathing in, filling up, breathing out, emptying out. Inhales and exhales. That beautiful breath of life that God first breathed into you. Check in and notice if you're holding tension in your face and in your fingers, in your toes. Smooth out any areas of tension. It's so easy to be enamored with the many varied colors, sights, and sounds of nature. The high mountains, the deep oceans, the frozen tundras, and the barren deserts. The detail contained in the tiniest poppy boggles the mind. And the sincerity in the early morning song of a dove is enough to bring one to tears. How can we not be in awe of all of creation's beauty? It's so easy to lose yourself in creation. But do we ever stop to think what intelligent creator could have made all that our eye can see, our ear can hear, our nose can smell, our mouth can taste, and the hand that can touch Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Breathe in that truth. Fill your body with it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. As Christians, we are to love, appreciate, and take care of creation because it is an extravagant gift 
from our Holy Father, the creator of heaven and earth, that we could never replicate. But instead, Romans 1.25 says, we exchange the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. But Job asks us in 12.7.9, Ask the beasts and they will teach you. The birds of the heavens and they will tell you. The bushes of the earth and they will teach you. The fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? Breathe in God's breath of life. The breath he first breathed into you. The breath that sustains you each and every moment. Breathing in, breathing out. Filling up, emptying out. Just notice the quality of the breath as it comes in and as it leaves. See if you can follow that breath as it makes its way through the most amazing of all creations, which is you. You are God's masterpiece, created in his own image. 
Breathe that truth in. Thank you, Lord, for the breath that you have given me. Thank you, Father God, for the sun that warms us. The stars that guide us. The moon that controls the tides. the rains that cleanse us. The birds that serenade us. The flowers that adorn us. The fruit that feeds us. the animals that serve us. You are a good, good father. When we see the work of your hands, we know how magnificent you are. And we realize just how much you love us. Help me, Father, to honor you by honoring and protecting this very extravagant gift of creation that you have given us. I bless your name, Father. Amen.